Margaret couldn't shake off the feeling of unease as her husband George spent increasingly long hours in the garage. Their household dynamic was one of mutual respect for personal space, but George's extended absences piqued her curiosity. Determined to uncover the truth, she seized an opportunity when her daughter engaged George in conversation, allowing Margaret to sneak into the garage unnoticed. As she stepped into the dimly lit space, Margaret's eyes widened in astonishment at what she discovered. Contrary to George's claims of car maintenance and carpentry projects, the garage held no evidence of such endeavors. Instead, she found rows of meticulously organized shelves lined with neatly labeled jars and containers. Each one contained an assortment of herbs, spices, and dried ingredients. Puzzled by the unexpected sight, Margaret couldn't comprehend why George would devote so much time to what appeared to be a makeshift pantry. The revelation left her grappling with questions about her husband's motives and the secrets he kept hidden within the confines of their home. Living far from their family, particularly their daughter Cynthia in California, weighed heavily on Margaret and George. Despite the distance, they remained connected through occasional video calls and updates about Cynthia's growing family. Yet, an unspoken tension lingered in the air, fueled by the absence of their loved ones. Margaret couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss, a gnawing uncertainty that crept into her thoughts as she went about her daily routines. Despite their empty nest situation, the sense of longing persisted, leaving her questioning the cause. Determined to uncover the truth, Margaret devised a plan with Cynthia to distract George long enough for her to investigate the garage. As they engaged in the video call, Margaret seized the opportunity to lure George into the kitchen, leaving the laptop on the table as a ruse. With George momentarily preoccupied, Margaret seized the chance to slip away unnoticed, her heart pounding with anticipation. She approached the garage with cautious steps, her mind racing with possibilities of what she might discover within its confines. To Margaret's surprise, the garage appeared impeccably organized, devoid of any signs of recent activity. Her confusion deepened as she scored the space, her eyes scanning for any clues that might shed light on George's mysterious behavior. As she pondered the situation, a sudden revelation jolted her senses. A hidden door concealed within the wall caught her attention, its existence unbeknownst to her until that moment. With a mixture of apprehension and curiosity, Margaret cautiously ventured into the darkness beyond. With a flick of a switch, the room was bathed in light, revealing an unexpected sight. An easel stood prominently in the center of the room, adorned with a canvas in progress. Surrounding it were cherished family photographs, serving as both inspiration and companionship for George's solitary pursuits. Margaret's disbelief was palpable as she surveyed the scene before her, her mind struggling to reconcile this newfound revelation with her preconceived notions of her husband's interests. Before she could process her thoughts, George's voice pierced the silence, catching her off guard. Startled, Margaret turned to face him, her heart still racing from the unexpected encounter. As George explained his intentions behind the clandestine space, Margaret's initial shock gave way to a sense of warmth and appreciation for her husband's hidden talent and the thoughtful surprise he had orchestrated. What are you doing in here? I didn't even know this room existed. Margaret questioned. Her curiosity peaked as she surveyed the hidden space. George motioned for her to join him by the canvas. It's been here since we moved in. Although I admit, it's hard to find the door if you don't know where to look. Anyway, I took a painting class when I was a little boy, but I forgot all about it. I've been thinking lately that we don't have a family portrait at all, especially with our granddaughter. So I was thinking of mixing this picture of us with this picture that Cynthia sent, he explained, gesturing towards the wall. Wow, that's such a sweet idea. Margaret gushed, touched by her husband's thoughtful gesture. Yeah, but it was supposed to be a gift, George replied, chuckling softly at the unintended surprise. I'm so sorry, darling. I got worried that you were spending so much time in here. Margaret admitted, feeling a pang of guilt for her earlier suspicions. I've actually had to start over several times, but this time, it's coming along pretty nicely. 
George continued, his passion for the project evident in his tone. I was also careful to clean my hands with a cloth to avoid raising your suspicions, but I guessed you got suspicious either way. Yes, I did, but this is heavenly. Carry on, Margaret encouraged, a smile playing on her lips as she watched her husband's artistic vision take shape. In the following days, George diligently completed the painting, pouring his heart and soul into every stroke. When Cynthia visited, the couple proudly unveiled the masterpiece, capturing their family's essence for generations to come. Inspired by their granddaughter's presence, they eventually made the decision to relocate closer to Cynthia, eager to be part of every milestone in her life.